All right. Wow. Dang, let that scorpion live, bro. Oh, he got that Egyptian um, beetle tattoo. Yeah, they're in Cairo, Egypt. Damn. Yes, power. And you just literally walks in like nothing happened, like like it's that easy. Whoa! Oh shit! Return of the mummy. Nah. You did it to yourself, bruh. Gain some altitude. Messing up the desert. Huh? Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, that's not fair. <laughs> This is for a week. Oh my gosh. What the fuck? Oh, sorry. It's okay. I'm in. Oh my gosh. The full this planet can be. Too bad the human race is hell bent on destroying it. Good thing they got us, right? Huh. It's why I'm here on Earth. It's why you're here. I still can't believe you left everything to come help a planet you've never even seen before. I told you I was part of the World Betterment Committee. Yeah, I know. Keeping the universe safe, living up to our people's heritage. It takes sacrifice, Mark. That's what I'm trying to teach you. One more round, huh? Last one home takes out the garbage for a month. my dear i know how governments work and yours is no different cecil's searching for the killer is he they know who did this and they don't care you can help me sell my house uh yes absolutely does it ever lie to you of course I only made the mistake of believing him once when he told me everything was going to be fine damn oh i think it's a continuation Private browser. Oh, she better hit that VPN shit. Incognito mode. <gasps> Babe, what are you doing? <laughs> Boy, I love not X the fuck out those tabs, yeah, man. Yeah, quit rubbing it in. A hot date. A date? Hold up. Tell me everything. It's not a date. Amber and I are just hanging out. Hanging out? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, I made out last episode. And Eve Where saw that. Going? Would say we go out too, huh? Can't let a couple of teenagers show us up. He thinks there's a conspiracy around the murders. Yeah, she needs to quit drinking. No one. What? <laughs> she needs to stop fucking drinking. That's what she needs. She's drunk. Shit. Man said, get over it. I am a piece of shit, man. How was that? It felt so good. Old boxes. They're called balls. Um, B A U L. <laughs> Maybe this is your lucky. Oh my yeah. God, look at put how that... cute those are. <laughs> put that price tag down. Separators. And so reasonably priced. <laughs> Thanks. Just imagine all the rice you're gonna separate now. Come. You were in my house. You frightened my wife. If you threaten my family again with your conspiracy theory bullshit, you'll kill me. I won't have to. Who do you think they're going to believe? Me or you? If already suspects, how long until son does too? Damn! Hey. Yeah. Okay. In the lab. Like 
Oh, he's creating an, a, 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 a replicated. Defragmenting, Rex. Okay, well, quit it. You don't want to miss this. Welcome to our new digs, baby. I believe I'm actually here. <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, the home of the murder scene. <sighs> your jaws. You're not tourists. This isn't a holy site. This is your job. The sooner you get up to speed, the sooner people stop dying. Hey, Cecil. Uh, you missed a spot? Oh, shit. Left that one there as a reminder. When you prove yourselves worthy of the heroes who came before you, it'll get cleaned off. Huge asshole, right? Oh, yeah, gaping, dirty, filthy asshole. Okay, that's fine. Dating <laughs> Adam Eve was the direct result of your lapse in judgment. Do not repeat it with Monster Girl. Tell you what, when you grow up here, robot, you can tell me how to <laughs> do it. This isn't relationship advice, Rex. This is an order. Ow! What the hell? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I must have pinched a nerve. I forget how soft humans are. Bitch ass nigga. Oh, got a DNA. Come on, you're the wife of the most powerful man on earth. You shouldn't have to deal with work stuff. Did you seriously say that? I like dealing with work stuff. Yeah, and I love that about you. Oh, please, you. don't give me that shit. Don't you dare shush me. <laughs> Nolan! Sorry, I meant to teleport to your front door, but this thing isn't exactly Swiss in its precision. I almost killed you. Why are you here, Cecil? I expect to feel the same way next time when you plan the date. Okay. Hey, you got the music going on? Hey. This is it. You think people are going to care about Mars if there's an attack on Earth and I'm not here to save them? I think they're going to care if the first four people to walk on another world end up dying there. I guess this is the part where I volunteer? I mean, that's what happened last time you came here asking Dad to go to space. <laughs> yeah, that was the moon. If the kid wants to go, he'd be doing humanity a favor. Debbie, help me out here. I don't like Mark missing school, but I can't think of a better reason than keeping people safe. How much school am I really going to miss? It's a two-week mission. Two weeks? Sweetheart, lots of people are going to tell you how to use your powers, but it's up to you to make these decisions. You need to do Look on Man's face. You want to be. They need to talk about sacrifice. I don't understand. On Man's talking about sacrifice. Dude, we'll pack a lunch, kid. Leave tomorrow. Sir, we wanted Nolan off planet so we could investigate him for the murders without arousing his suspicions. See what this kid can do. And more importantly, if his heart's in the right place. This is why dating regular people is a pain in the ass. Sure, but it's not like dating Rex worked out. Changing the subject now. Look, once you tell someone your secret identity, that's it. You better be serious about her. Are you serious about her, Mark? And I found some extra change in the couch, so... That's very thoughtful. Thank you. Two weeks. What? Like, far away. Well, that's great. When? Now. Just under 60 seconds to launch. Um. Shit, in about a minute. <laughs> minute now. For real? More or less. Please don't lose interest in me while I'm gone. I figure you've banked about two weeks of interest. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Maybe three. Back a souvenir. One. And we have liftoff of the Mars mission. An international exploration of the red planet that will knowledge in ways we can only imagine. You see, he didn't you see he didn't tell he didn't tell Amber his secret. Cool. Sure our astronauts get home safe. Yeah.
Oh wow! Look at him. He's dead. Like, he's dead already. Ugh. It's a waste of Mark's time. You know, ever since Mark got his powers, you've been different. I'm trying to teach him. You've been distant, annoyed at everything, and you've been mean. I've been under a lot of stress. I've never even met another Viltramite. I've told you. Well, you. You've told me stories, yes, but that's not the same. You're hiding something from me, and it hurts. Okay, I'm 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 sorry. I never thought I would have a family. And then you came along. And I love you and Mark so much. I told Olga I'd sell her house. Her house will still be here when we get back. Hey, you asked me what we do. We do this. Yeah, we do that. This man's gonna eating a sandwich and stuff. Oh my gosh. Listen. Donato, I can't believe it's still here. Oh, we'll never get in. I made reservations. You never make reservations. You guys see that? Nothing. See what? <laughs> never mind. Listen, get your hand in the game, Mark. Perfect. You know what? You only got a second date because I saw you save those kids on the news. I'm glad we came. But you still feel something's wrong. I haven't been honest with you, Debbie. About what? About the murders. Nolan? <gasps> Oh shit! Do you trust me, Debbie? There's there's a dragon behind you. Please, do you trust me? I trust you. Okay, now do something. I'm on vacation with my beautiful wife. Let Cecil earn his paycheck. Nothing. Is there anything you can find? What type of evidence can you find? Like, oh, his super suit. You can come out. I'm not hiding. Cecil. No! Oh, shit. No! Well, this is the live on the ground. Get that shit. That boy flung his ass. Whoa! Do not move. Uh, just here looking for. Uh, oh, shit. You guys need to keep your dogs on a leash. Assume those are like Martian dogs or something. You are unaffected by the sacreds. Oh shit! Held them captive. What is your purpose here? It's funny, uh, I was sent to protect some of my fellow Earthmen on a mission to your lovely planet. Oh, hey guys. Uh, yeah, we don't know who that is. It was a secret mission. Well, you suck at it then. They are a world-destroying race who left the trail of destruction across the universe before crashing onto our planet. Ingo's sacred fuses with one of your people. They will rise up as one and savage Mars. And... Oh. Earth. Or are you able to resist them? I'm part Viltramite. Ever heard of us? I am the Emperor of Mars. Of course I've heard of you! Sent to protect these astronauts, so if you're all good, we'll finish our science and head home. Impossible! The humans are scheduled for immediate execution! Oh and shit! Them come and encounter with a sacred. Say fuck around with you, you ain't leaving this shit. <laughs> Yo, get the fuck out of here, man. Fucking hands. Yes, fly, please. Get the fuck out of here. Hit the fucking jets. <laughs> Oxygen levels, check. 
Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you better feel this dust. Shit. Y'all still not up yet? Um, okay. Can I lift that? I think I can lift that. No hard feelings, right? I'm gonna take a rock if that's okay. Yeah? Oh, shit. Oh my god. Spirits were raised as the first men and women to walk on another planet. Oh, hey, you're back. Oh, they were having some sex. Mark. <laughs> That's the response I was hoping for. Oh, how was it? Well, mostly boring. Encountered some local wildlife, met the king, kind of a jerk. I got you something. Ooh, uh, what do they call them? A rock. Rock? Yeah, just make sure you never show it to any geologist or anyone who knows anything about rocks. They might tell you something crazy. You only see good and evil, black and white. Well, I need to keep things gray until I can figure out why Nolan killed the Guardians and how to stop it. Crazy. Oh, man. Robot. What's that? Finally, phase one begins. Some new evidence came up, and apparently I'm in the clear. He even apologized. Cecil never apologizes. He's fine. Oh, shit. Going to Mars to protect those astronauts that didn't go well obviously the martian king basically mentioned to mark that yeah the segwits those those squid looking like creatures like those are world destroy those are a world destroying race that happened to just stumble up on, on mars and you know what if they found the proper host like the king mentioned like for example a human being then they can rise up and take over Mars and take over other planets as well oh man well that ended up happening now you got now you got a segway clone which just happened to go on Mars I mean went on the spaceships spacecraft and now it's heading it's land, basically landing on Earth to take over so yeah now you got another problem now basically nolan and his wife pretty much you know just happened to go to rome for you know reminisce about their first date that they were there and you know Iron man's on a break obviously cecil wants to was going to assign nolan to you know go to mars and take care just just to get him out you know out the way so they can do their investigation but you know damien dark blood he was just like man once once on man is right for a way on the trip basically damien uh dark blood happened to take advantage of the moment and just start investigating the house and cecil was there and i guess i understand where cecil's coming from because he doesn't want Damien and Darby just 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 keep on like you know interfering you know doing all his investigation by himself this and that. I understand he's adamant trying to find the truth and all that stuff, but like listen, like 
Cecil, I guess he has his own method of doing stuff, and he he knows it's Nolan, so he's he's, he's not. It's nothing, you know. Offense towards like Damian Dark, but but just like man, you keep butting in, even though even though he told them to drop the case, he just, he just still kept, you know, looking for it. Even his wife was still like, yeah, um, I don't know, something's going on, you know, with, um, with Nolan. So, yeah, he's acting real funny. Ever since that incident. Um. Yeah, what happened next? So pretty much, uh, Mark. You see, you see another another point that I also noticed was like Eve and Mark's conversation. Like Eve told Mark that yeah, if you like Amber, like make sure you really tell her who you, what who you really are and what you what you're doing. That's why she doesn't really like, you know, the whole human superhero relationship. It never really works out. So, not only that, but like, hey, she, she likes Mark. So, like I, like I said in episode three, I think it might work out for a little bit. But then, you know, later on, it's not going to, I don't, I don't think it's going to last long. I think eventually, maybe he might end up being with, uh, with Eve. I don't know, maybe. <sighs> now Eve is contemplating like she has a lot of things going on and like she you know she wants to be she, she don't know if this being the superhero life is for her and all that stuff so I don't know I think she just wants some comfort she wants someone to talk to and I think maybe during the, the next few episodes maybe she might have that chance to talk with Mark you never know she might kiss him you never know so something new might start uh, yeah, one of the clone brothers pretty much just like, you know, found a, found a hideout, started, you know, creating his own lab and all that to um, clone himself. So they could get the ball rolling on their next plan. Robot. You see, I knew, I knew Robot was, sometimes something fishy was going on Robot. That, that's why that little, that's why that girl was like, how do you know? You're not even human. And then, like, that's why I started getting, you know, curious, like, wait, because you were saying, I know what it's like to, you know, being someone like, to, for, for someone not to, like, see who you really are, for what you really are, and stuff like that. So I'm like, yeah. So that pinch he did to Rex was really just to, to get a sample of his DNA. So, yeah, I don't know what that's about, like, because that's, like, later during the, during the last, during the ending scene. You know, he, robot actually goes to like a facility, and then it seemed like a clone's experiment, like like a, like the actual being, and within that pod shape, that 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 that's basically controlling the robot. Omni Man basically says that tells his wife that yeah, seems like um Cecil said I'm 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 in the clear. Yeah, you're in the clear. Okay, you're not in the clear, buddy. He knows what you did. Please. Uh, and now Cecil is also looking at Mark to see if he might be a, a, a good candidate. Maybe able later on in the road, like train, train him up a bit, see if he's a capable candidate. Maybe like if something, if, if Omni Man goes haywire, maybe he might be the one to actually stop Omni Man. But he just wants to see where his heart is at, at first. So who knows? But um, anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Hit the bell. Stay up to date when there's more Invincible and made more anime movie reactions coming to the channel. So be sure to hit the bell to stay up to date. But with that being said, guys, go draw out.